and I am here uh, talking about a really sensitive subject. <laughs> are you being messed around with in your relationship? Are you being dicked around? And and the, the symptom is that sometimes she's listening and sometimes she's not. And you are trying to communicate. You've got some needs, like you want the relationship to go a little bit of a different way. And it's just not landing over there. But it's not only not landing. I mean, some people just don't listen or you have to repeat things a couple times or God forbid even teach people listening skills. And then there's some people that just, um, they're just kind of messing with your head like to be straight up and honest. So I'm Octavia Brooks and I'm an intuitive success and relationship strategist for entrepreneurs. And when this is happening, when somebody's messing with your head, how do you notice it? And like, what is your tolerance level? How long do you let it go on for? So I got to where, I'm gonna give an example from my personal life. I had a boyfriend this quite some time ago and we were just trying to decide about a movie no big deal, right? Just trying to decide about a movie. We had a lot of genres of movies that we liked that were in common. We'd already figured that out. And this is, you know, quite a ways into our relationship. The conversation just kept going around and around and around. Like I would suggest one and he would be, no, 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 this reason, that reason. Okay, well, what about this other one? No, 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 this reason, that reason. And it just turned into this game like at, at a certain point in back I was just kind of a certain point in time I just kind of looked back and just went watched it unfold that he was just not wanting me to know what his preference was not wanting me to know something about him like his movie preferences in that moment and I don't know what else was going on with him but definitely an avoidance of mutuality and avoidance of coming together on something and avoidance of well actually like really connecting and this person also had other symptoms of intimacy issues when you know in other parts of relationship so and when I say intimacy I don't mean sex like the sex worked great that part was fine it was the emotional actual being in the same place with presence at the same time looking to others into each other's eyes having emotional connection and intimacy there was always just this tap dance around that there was always like oh i gotta go so that's i'm sharing this story from my history to see if that's happening with you because what we really want what we really need as humans is we need the ability to connect really personally with each other. We need to be ourselves with somebody. We need to discover ourselves with the other person being a reflective mirror. We need love. We need unconditional understanding and love. And and we need to feel that connection. It's gotta be consistent too. This whole like, I've had a lot of people that pulled mixed messages on me or were really inconsistent with me. Like one day they're really present and connected and the next day they are somewhere else so I never know I can't really rely upon them to be there for me and and so the trust issues start cropping up and resentment starts cropping up as these kinds of relationships go on so what we really need is maybe really hard to get from folks that have these kinds of issues and so that's what I wanted to share with you today identifying these kinds of relationships and what might be happening when you're trying to communicate but the other person isn't really partnering with you in mutual understanding and then you go to work with this like your mind is confused like is it me is it her what's going on in this relationship I'm really close to her I'm sexually connected with her and I want to have more I want more of this relationship and yet she's just not like she's gone to the maximum limit that she can go to which is it can be really frustrating and limiting for you and then that's what you're thinking about when you go to work 
and we as entrepreneurs we need like 110 percent in the game every single day we've got to be really present with what we're doing in order to be able to trust our decisions in order to know that we're making progress to basically keep all the sticks in the fire so that all these different revenue streams and any all the efforts at scaling up the business are all like on track and moving ahead man it just takes every ounce of emotional energy we have if we don't have somebody at home who's respecting us and supporting us when we go to work and there's like the uh, a, a dropout like really an energetic dropout so out of the 110 percent that you're capable of when you're really living up to your full potential maybe you only have like 60 percent online and the other 40 50 percent is just kind of in world zone and it's a, a major distraction it's a major distraction and you know really i know you well enough to know that you've got a purpose you've got a mission you've got uh, a dream you want to fulfill you want to have that positive impact on the world and you really can't afford to have somebody messing around with you you can't uh, dicking you around at home and taking some of your attention away so if you resonate with that put something <laughs> I don't think there's a dick emoji but you know you could put a thumbs up and we'll pretend it's a dick um, in the in the comments below so you have a fantastic day. I'm really happy to spend this time with you.